Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. I'm coming to you Sunday evening and I am going to show you some quick tutorials on graphics. Now, I hope it's going to be quick because I hope you learn something from it, but I also want you to understand that creating graphics should not be the primary focus of your business. However, it is a nice tool to add to your social media to make it more like you instead of copying other people. So I'm going to show you I'll probably show you two of my favorite apps that were that are easy for you and also show you how to create some graphics on Instagram. So first one being that a lot of us use is, is Canva. So if you have Canva, I currently have the free version. You can purchase, I believe it's a monthly or a yearly subscription to this to get more access to some things, but I currently have the free one. So if you create an account and open up Canva, you can use it on your phone. And another really nice thing is that you can use it on your computer as well. So what I do whenever I use Canva, I honestly, I just go through and look at all of the free templates that they have. If you click on Instagram post, you have all these free templates and then they'll obviously show you which ones cost money. But this is the easiest thing that you can do. You can click on a free template that you like. Let's say these colors are kind of matching your vibe that you like. And you can just click on and edit anything on here. At the bottom, you've got the plus. And from here, I'm just gonna show you that again, the bottom left here, that purple plus button. You can add all kinds of things, graphics, you can add photos, you can add your own photos from your camera roll, as you see on the bottom here, uploads, text, things like that. So this Canva is very, very simple to use. It can get complicated, which is why I mentioned earlier, you never wanna to focus too much on your graphics because it can be very, very time consuming and there are many other things that you could be doing in your business than creating graphics. So. Canva is one of my favorites to use, and then it keeps your designs saved. Another one that I use a lot, a lot is Work Swag. I do pay for a subscription for this one. So at the bottom, once you open it up, you'll have camera. So obviously that's taking a picture. You've got library where you can pull up your own photo and you've got free photos. I actually do a lot of these free photos. You might actually recognize some of them that are along social media because they're very popular to use. I don't know which ones exactly are free. These actually are the free photos. So let's do, let's just select this one here. So once you select this, you've got all your options for your sizing. You can add frames to it. However, again, I'm not sure what is included in the free version and what is not as I pay for this. So we're just gonna go no frame. I know a lot of what I pay for are the texts, but there are a lot of free texts included. So that, I mean, this is as simple as it gets. From here, you can change out your colors your letters, and you can have fun with it. And I honestly use a lot of the same graphics and the same text. So that's Word Swag. Another great option that you can use to create graphics is right in your Instagram account. So you just open up your Instagram and you can go right over to your story. And if you see on the left here, you've got Create. The bottom right corner, the circle with the with the green and blue, if you click on that, it will change colors so you can change the background to whatever you want. So right here, you can tap and type, okay? Once you type in what you want, I don't know where that went. Once you type in what you want, oh, weird. You just click the bottom and it's right here, okay? Another thing that you can do is you can add photos. So you could swipe up like you would normally add all your things. If you go scroll down to your photos right underneath my countdown, you can add a photo here. There's me and my nephew, Jack Jack, and you can type in there as well. If you're done with what you want and how you want it to look, you could tap on the photos, changes, 
And if you're done with it, right up at the top, you got close, you got the circle with your background color, and then that little down arrow allows you to save it. So you can actually do a lot with these as well because you've got your different fonts to add. And you can also add any other, whoops, you can also add, oh my goodness, I'm trying to swipe up here. You can also add other things as well. So hopefully that helps you ladies on some graphics. Again, you never want to spend too much time making graphics. I will also put in my caption the other apps that I do use because there are quite a few that I use for videos and for photos that you might find a little easier to use or you might you might like them more. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions since I kind of flew through this because I want to keep it very simple for you, uh, just let me know.